character a lot of players are saying on are is a, is a bit worse than yes, the rest of the characters. Which is tragic because right. he wasn't that great in Smash 4. Right, right. They could have they could have given him a little bit of something. Of course, there's Lil Mac off the stage. Not the greatest character with the greatest recovery. But he can hit pretty hard on stage. Already seeing him get 51% right off the bat. Yeah, I know um, he also played Little Mac in Smack 4 2. Okay. So, uh. Ride, ride or die with Little Mac. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's understandable here. Um, oh, Wes is. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. But no, Wes is um, not from NorCal. He's from SoCal, actually. But okay. Of course, you know, not, not that far of a drive, but like six hours, I would say. Yeah. Already getting KO punch. Okay. Ooh, mashes out of that down throw so quickly and doesn't really get much, uh, nothing off of that KO punch potential. And you know, I love how we were talking about, um, about Rob's in general, but I believe the reason why there's actually a huge crowd right now is I wouldn't doubt if that's CFL. <laughs> because Epic Gabriel oh is actually a 16-year-old top Rob player from CFL who actually oh. beat Mewtwo King at Smash Conference. <laughs> That's so, why you hear you hear Mewtwo. I hear the word Mewtwo King so much I, in the background. I I heard I heard oh yelling and I knew God. wait that's not SoCal. That's yeah. definitely CFL. Yeah. I turn around and I see <laughs> Dyer and Kiki. Most definitely you see Epic Gabriel trying to get the crowd uh, on his side here. He's doing a good job so far. Yeah, keeping his distance away, and oh my goodness, you saw how Wes wanted to run up a KO punch. He wanted it. Yeah, he wanted it, and the laser just kind of knocks him back all the way. Okay, oh, the parry. I like this. Yeah, he drops Gyro. He's, he's oh, testing him. He's like, yeah. come after me, man. You want to yeah. punish my landing? Yeah. Of course, you got to recognize that Little Mac does have super armor on his smash attacks. Of course, coming um, from Smash 4, he had that as well. Right. So oh, it. nice. Laser off the top. Re grabs Gyro. Oh my goodness, wow. he almost had the setup. It's a drop gyro, it's a up smash. Right. Even having the gyro by the ledge, if you stay roll distance, you can catch your opponent with the up smash automatically. It would be a, confirm a co confirmation. Mm. See right there as he throws a gyro by the ledge. Right. Good recognition from West to jump over it, though. He Not does have K. Oh, oh my! Okay. What? Okay. That was, that was a trade from the gyro coming oh. out, but we got the retaliation back with. The up throw. Yeah, the up throw is super strong. We'll get the KO. Yeah, and we're, we're seeing an explosive there. match. This little Mac is putting on a show. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Both these players coming to represent their own region. SoCal and CFL. Okay. Yeah, the gyro play from the, gyro play from, uh, the Rob has been very, very solid. Yeah, and he knows when to setups. use it. He knows when he has to move back. He notices there's KO punch there, but oh my gosh. Oh. That was very intimidating right there. As oh. He jumped! Oh. He jumped and got caught with it! <laughs> he was at 43%! Yep. He was yep. at 43%! That's, that's all it takes sometimes, you know? If you don't edge guard Lil Mac and he manages to get back oh onto the stage, I can see God. how this could be actually very difficult for Epic Gabriel only because um, the projectiles are also chipping inside the whole KO punch meter. Mm -hmm. So every, every projectile you land, which is basically Rob's literal kit right you're also allowing the little mac to gain that ko punch meter um Oof. but of course throwing little mac off stage hitting him with gyro yeah. once as we saw that last game with yeah. the other rob that's going to be super important in this matchup yeah little mac not the greatest recovery yeah it, absolutely that's where he's the most lackluster honestly yeah. yeah that's what makes that's his glaring weakness for sure yeah strong on stage awful off stage not the best aerials either Dude, 43% KO? Oh my god, that is intimidating. <laughs> yeah. That's wild. Yeah, knowing you got a lead and you can't do anything mm. unsafe, you can't do empty hops, you can't jump above him because KO Punch actually reaches above him too, catches right. jumps pretty easily. Right, right. Jeez. He's so quick with it too. He'd be a little tricky. Okay, KO Punch again on deck. Okay. Down throw into up tilt. Nice. Nice. That, that, that is that a was great a very conversion. Solid, yeah, that was a very solid stock coming from Epic Gay Rule. Oh, you see how he puts the gyro at as an active hitbox to try to get the gyro to hit Wes off stage to get the down air confirmed, but Wes narrowly avoiding it, getting back, managing to land a down tilt, forcing Epic Gabriel to get on the right side of him as, you know, he notices he was going to go for the cross up. Right, right. I really like the movement from Rob. He's keeping it very, very tricky as to where he's going to land and how he's going to even edge guard. Just like jumping out a little bit threatening something and then jumping back with a forward air. Right. I like it. Wes actually trying to catch Epic Gabriel's landing with the up smash. Another move that catches jumps very scarily. Right. 
Okay. The landing into Nair, into double fair. Still tries to keep him off stage with a fair. He recognizes that this is what he's going to have to do with his game plan. Yeah. Keep Wes off stage. This is his chance. He does not want to get KO punch. No, he really doesn't. At least the KO punch is gone now, not on deck anymore. Yep. No, the gyro taking him out. Getting the up tilt into up air. Now that you can't do the down throw into up air automatically since it grounds you. Right. He does catch the jump, and that's going to be the stock from Wes. Right. Okay, and a very, very commanding lead now from the Rob. The game plan is completely shifted from that game one. He's keeping a distance that Lil Mac can't really close too well with all the projectile play that Rob is doing. Yep. Oh my gosh, he tried to super armor his way out of that. Right. He gets the parry. But then the gyro comes right after. Yep. Gyro covering Ooh. all his safe options there. And even... Oh my! Oh. He actually tried to contest that. Yeah. I'm not too sure how easy... I don't think it's that easy to contest Lil Mac's um, up B once it's, you know, come out came out, but like, Epigero still trying to go for it anyway with three stocks. He really had not much to lose as West is on his last stock. Yeah. Although with, you know, the KO punch that we saw from the last game, I don't want to count West out just yet. <laughs> you know, knocking yeah. out Epigero's last stock of that first game with at only 45%. Okay, he's got KO punch. Oh, oh but narrowly avoiding it yeah. as he slid with the KO punch. Jeez, he is hungry for it though. It felt like, um, Epic Gabriel knew exactly what he was going for and just avoided it completely. Gets the up air, not yeah. quite the KO. Is that would pay KO punch is very detrimental though. As Wes finds himself off the stage and finally catching him with the up smash wow. out of the gyro setup by the ledge. Very, very solid. And we're at one game apiece going into game three. And that's what I know. This kid is like 16 years old. Yo, this kid looks super young. young. This kid looks young. young. We got a lot of young talent here, actually. We got um Remember that 13-year-old Tijuana player? He's from Tijuana and coming into like a random SoCal regional or local like about four days ago and I got like fourth. Okay. A game up on Elegant and everything. Like he was doing Ooh. so well. All this young talent. MKLeo, of course, leading that army of uh, right. all this, these talented young players. And you know, yeah. Man. I'm getting old now. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of, man. But, uh, Great talent here at Genesis. It's the perfect time to get into a game like this, man. Yeah. If you're like around this age, you have your whole entire Smash career to go, and that's a beautiful thing. Going into game three, one game apiece. The KO punch not really working out in that game two. He had a he had a couple opportunities, but they were very much avoided by uh, the way uh, Gabriel was playing that. Yeah, that you, you could game. see that Gabriel was like, "I'm not gonna let you do that to me ever no, again." No, no, not at all. Although I would like to see some more um, snipes with Epic Gabriel's uh, projectiles off stage against Wes. Um, you know how you he, you saw how he tried to go for that side B, trying to clip him um, right. as he was forced to recover by the ledge, but maybe opt to go for the projectiles instead. Right. Yeah. He hasn't really punished Lil Mac off stage too much, mm -hmm. but his on stage game has actually been really yeah, solid. Yeah, that's that's what's been uh, keeping him really grounded right now in this matchup. For sure. It's just tough for uh, Lil Mac to contend with all these projectiles. It looks like. Oh, you saw he tried to get the setup with the gyro using that fair to try to send him in that way, in, right. in that direction at least. But the down tail Ooh. into side B, that was wow. a great setup coming from Wes and a great lead that he needed too. He yeah. does have KO punch. Ooh. Oh my oh. gosh, no! No, that's not gonna kill! Okay. He went from like Dog. 0 to 68, dude! Dog. I thought. I th <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get KO'd at 30%, I'm scared. Oh my God. Little Mac. Oh. Literally just. Wow. That literally just took out like. Almost half his stock, basically, right yeah. there. Yeah. Wes is actually on a tear right now, and this could tilt up the Gabriel, like, making this comeback, honestly. No, getting hit with something that huge takes away so much of your momentum. Is like up tilt into up air, maybe? Maybe there up air, yeah. Yep, yep, and that. yep, that's a confirmation that he needs, although he's at 108. We know Little Mac deals a good amount of percent. So he's going to have to watch out and try not to get hit by the moves that Little Mac has that actually has super armor and oh. keeping him off stage. Oh, this is what we need to see. He gets this the jump. Oh, okay. He, that was great yeah. awareness, though, from Wes. Opting to go for the defensive option, air dodging to the ledge. Yeah, he lost, safe. he lost his jump, so he had to do that. <laughs> Otherwise, he was going to get KO'd. Like we were talking about, Little Mac's just yeah. not the greatest off stage. So great recognition from Wes. Okay. I like the patience coming from Epic Gabriel, using the platforms to remain patient. Yeah. Trying to keep his footing first before he tries to overcommit to anything. Right. Rolling back. Okay, KO punch again on deck. You know what though? If he gets a KO punch here at this percent, that was gonna say right. at this percent it was it wasn't worth to use the KO punch, but now as Ape Epic Gabriel only has one stock left, he wants to hold on to the KO punch. But Gabriel knocking it out of him, making sure that it's not gonna be a problem for this last stock. Right, right. Still a a, a nice little lead for Lil Mac though. Oh, and he gets 27%. Off of that rapid jab. Yeah. yeah. 
Ooh, almost caught him in a lock there using the gyro to his advantage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is just not contesting Lil Mac off the stage. I, I don't think he wants to get stage spike or anything, and, and this kind of juncture in, in the set, you don't want to do anything haphazard unless you're fully confident in it. Yeah, and Epic Aero, you know, oh, kind of oh. landing on Wes's shield, not a really good position to be as he doesn't want to take any more damage. He uses the gyro for that extra up to Oh, he said, oh, oh my, that oh, was so smart. Dodge. That was so smart though because he had the gyro there anyway to get that extra percent, but I don't think it was worth it since he couldn't take the stock. Right. Oh, this is going to be up throw maybe? Down down throw? It's a up. Oh, oh he tried it, to get it. Yeah, because the last, conversions. the last time he did mash out out of it and then get the air dodge, so he was trying to read that with the, the up air that he was doing. Okay, up throw will KO him. Yeah, he just needed that extra percent, I believe, like at 170. That was definitely going to KO around then. 72% though, this is going to be a little bit of a comeback to Mount from the Rob's end. Okay, trying to catch his landing. Like the patient coming from West, notice how he's just running, waiting to see what Epic Gabriel's going to throw out just in case he could punish something unsafe on shield. Although he is stuck by the ledge, very bad position to be for Ooh. Little Mac. Okay, 99% to 22. Look at this patience coming from Epic. Oh, Using off stage, does he, oh, does he get one edge guard? He just needs one, oh, he, he gets the grab. One. Okay, up throw, goes for the up air. He's off stage again. He needs another snipe here. Oh, oh he rolls onto the platform. Rolled. He did not try to roll. Oh. I don't think. Oh my goodness! The up, oh, the up beat. This is so scary. Yes. Wes has KO punch. He's oh. waiting for Epic to land, but Epic's not giving it to him. No, Epic is very, con very oh content my. going to the top platform there. Okay, now there's no platforms to contend with. KO punch still on oh deck, God, and he, he gets it. Little Mac. Oh my God! And this is an upset. This is considered an upset. Oh Epic Gabriel coming from his win at yeah. Smash Brothers, beating Mewtwo King. Going oh down in pools versus Wes. Lil Mac. Dude, there's so much pressure when you have the KO punch like that and when you have that percent. It, he was stuck on the top platform, but Lil Mac was so content playing that great.